I have a confession. It's it's kind of hard to talk about. I, I, I don't know where to, I don't know where to start. My name is Kayla and uh, this is Heroic Pages. Hi, welcome. And um, I'm, I'm addicted to buying books. I went a tad bit uh, crazy this month with the uh, buying of books. I did have a couple of gift cards to spend, so it's uh, it's not that bad, but I did acquire in the month of July, and, and granted, there's like a whole week left, a total of 12 books, 12, that's like a 12 step program right there, each step is just acquire another book fuel the addiction so I guess I'm gonna show you the books you want to see what I bought there's a lot of them the first book is kiss of deception by Mary E Pearson this is about a story of a princess who on her wedding day decides to run away from her arranged marriage and during the course of her running away two people are after her one is the prince she was supposed to marry and the other is an assassin who's going to kill her i found reading the description that this book was going to be very intriguing just the concept of, you know, two people being sent after her and i've already read this and i'll go into more my thoughts and feelings about it in my wrap up, but yes, I definitely cannot wait to find my hands, get my hands, at, uh, heart of betrayal. I need to acquire my books. It's a thing. The next book is I Am Malala by Malala herself. It's a uh, Yusuf Zai, Yusuf Zai. I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name correctly. Um, I picked this up on a whim at Chapters, I just felt like maybe I would enjoy it and I have started reading it a little bit of it and I am enjoying it. I have a background in anthropology so my love of learning about other people's cultures comes from that. Of course she's got an incredible story to tell, I mean she was shot in the head and she survived. and. She is very passionate about what she believes in, and I think that is someone admirable. With this haul, I have started buying sequels. And I have bought Scarlet by Marissa Mayer. Uh, it is the second book in the Lunar Chronicles. I am excited to start reading sequels to the books that I've read already. It's another one of those things where there's another book attached to this book that you bought already and you just have to have the next one. I don't want to go through withdrawal now, do we? Oh, oh, what's that? What, it's another sequel? I got Siege and Storm by Leigh Bardugo. I wanted to get Rune and Rising as well, but since I've bought Shadow and Bone and now Siege and Storm in paperback, and that was only in hardcover at the store, I don't want to get a hardcover when I have the series in paperback. It's just a thing. Could get both, but no. I'm not that addicted to buying books, okay? I'm not that addicted, okay? Stop it. I see those judgy eyes. I see them. I'm looking at you. Oh, I definitely cannot wait to read this. I really want to read it. I want to read it so bad. Moving on. There is a recent book that has come out by someone named Ernest Klein called Armada. And I've been hearing a lot of things about it, but I've also been hearing a lot of things about this book, Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. And actually, like, I've heard that this, it's, it's like, I don't know how this book is. I don't know what this book is. I'm just gonna read it and then I'm just gonna be like, okay. Obviously, I think it has to do with video games because, you know, Ready, Ready Player One. But I'm kind of going into this a little bit blind. Like, I've read the cover. I've read the back of it when I first picked it up. I haven't read it since, and I've kind of forgotten what it says. But, yeah. It's, it's more of the... I've heard 
a lot of people say good things about it, so I'm going to give it a chance. Next we have The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, and this is a book that I've heard about from Sam from Thoughts and Tomes. She's mentioned this a couple times in various videos that I've seen. This is one of her favorite books. She recommends like everyone and anyone to read it, so I finally picked up a copy of the book myself and I'm going to read it at some point in the near future. Um, it's got an intriguing story with the whole night circus thing and magic and I hope I will just fall in love with this book because I like liking books that other people like. These next two books that I picked up, I wasn't planning on picking them up at all, but they were on a deal at chapters for two for 15. The first one is The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. I read a book of John Boyne's last month. I read uh, Stay Where We Are and Then Leave, and so I'm excited to see what this is about. I know this is going to be another period piece in set in like the Holocaust era, um, and it's another middle grade type book where I think it's from the point of view of kids, so I'm excited to see where this goes. The other half of that 2 for 15 deal is Half Bad by Sally Green. And I just have to say, I love the pages on this. They're like, they're like, like, I don't know if you can see that. If, if you could see that part. But they're not like smooth. They've got like a finish to it. I don't know what you call it. There's probably a term for that. I need to learn these things. I absolutely love the cover of this book. I have acquired Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs and I just I love this cover. I love I love the spookiness. I especially love the spine, the fact that it looks like an old book. Um, I cannot wait to read this. There's pictures inside and uh, I just I've heard a lot of good things about this and it's a series now. There's the Hollow City and there's gonna be a third one so I cannot wait to pick this up. I love I just love the feel of this book. It's very, um, it's, it feels nice in my hands. There's like a weight to it. It's hard to describe, but it's, a, it's an aesthetic thing that I like about some books. I just, I like the weight of this. I, l I love it in my hands. The next book I got is Magonia by Maria Devana. Headley. This is about a girl who has a lot of respiratory problems here on Earth, and she hears this mysterious wind of sorts calling out her name, and uh, when uh, she can no longer fight to breathe, she finds herself somewhere else. Another book I got is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lanny Taylor, and this is a book that I've seen all around the interwebs of the YouTubes and the booktubes and just a lot of people have been reading it so you know it's one of those things where you're like I need to read it too. I don't even know what it's about right now. I read I read the description like months and months ago and I'm like yeah that sounds good. Basically if I see a book that's on my to buy list like I've marked it as to read I eventually get them and I forget what they're about and then you know when I'm in a mood I'm like oh what's this about? It's like going into a bookstore of my own library and being like, oh, I want that book. Let's read that now. This next book's a little bit daunting. It's uh, really long. And I'm going to be attempting it. It's just, just you could just look look how thick that is. Like, it's, it's, oh, it's Dune by Frank Herbert. Yes, this book is going to be a tough one to read, I think. I think, no, actually, I think it would be okay. Um, I've seen the movie, and I've seen the miniseries Children of Dune. I can't remember if the original Dune was a movie or a miniseries. It's been so long, but it was made in, like, the 80s or the 90s. I can't remember. But I know of the world already, so a lot of the world-building parts I will be able to understand because I've had the visual aid of it already, and I'm going to be reading this. It's... <sighs> a lot. There were like two versions of this book. There was like a taller one that was skinnier, but it cost more money than the short fat one. So I think it's going to be okay. Like the pages actually look okay to read, but I'm going to read this. I need to stop looking at big books as daunting 
end. Unreadable. Like, this is gonna be good. So there is my book haul. It's a lot of books. I don't know if I'm gonna buy any books next month. I think I did enough book shopping for two months combined. Okay, that is a lie. I have bought one book. I have one more book I technically purchased in this month, but I probably won't get it till like next week when it's next month, and that is The Martian by Andy Weir. I purchased it because it's going to be part of a readathon that I'm going to be participating in. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!